I'm Jeff Philbin, and this is the show where we transform humble ideas for dinner into dinner dias. Today, we're keeping it local with recipes celebrating the Sunshine State. A cool, crunchy ramen salad, ruby red roasted beet hummus, and Mexican street corn, but without the mess. Our guest today is food journalist Delea Colon. She's the producer and host of the Zest podcast, a must listen for Florida foodies. And now she's put together a book of over 100 recipes showcasing our state's homegrown food and the Florida vegetarian cookbook. And we're getting a sneak peek at some of the recipes today because first up, a cool, crunchy ramen salad. And it looks like we're gonna have already some fun Crushing it? We're gonna we're gonna crush it today, Jeff. You and I are gonna crush it. We both have a seven-year-old boy. Yep. And this is a perfect task for kids. Uh, isn't that the fun thing about food is when you find the right recipe to engage the family, the family can have fun, and you let them have that process of just introducing them slowly into the bigger stuff. But the small stuff is what's really the impactful piece because Let's have some impact on this. Let's have some impact. So this is great because it gives you the flavors of ramen without the heat. In Florida, it's very rare that we actually get to enjoy a bowl of soup. Sure. And this is something that you can make ahead of time. I know you're thinking ramen, like what am I in college? But you actually can use this ramen to give the salad a nice crunch. Perfect. So I want you to do the honors and just kind of go to town. Right. You got some stress you I, need I to. Lo I love this though. This is like, this is like really like I'm ready to go. Like I'm just gonna let it, and then it's like, all right, hate this. Go. Just go ahead, let Just out your aggression. This is a safe space. Bam. Boom. Just like that. And while you're doing that, I'll add some of the other veggies. Perfect. You can add whatever you got in your fridge. A little bit of this, a little bit of that. That's looking good. You want to dump that in the bowl there? I certainly there. can. So we have this green cabbage. Purple cabbage is also really pretty in this. Oh, yeah, I was going to say that would be a really yeah. nice sauce. Yeah, and you can make it ahead of time. The thing about all the recipes we're showing you today is that they can be made ahead of time, and you can even serve them at room temperature so you're not like wasting that. fridge space you're not wasting oven space very little heat involved in any of these recipes I so again it's kid friendly do you want to add some broccoli I Maybe certainly chop can. it up I and, certainly can yeah a little right. piece you like there. just add the florets just well I don't know you're the chef you tell me <laughs> <laughs> hey it's your recipe I want to do I want to do justice to your you recipe teach here me your ways so we're gonna throw in and you can use literally whatever veggies you've got which is the nice thing about this um, so this ramen here that's okay. in the bowl, we actually just took from like the cheap little ramen packets. Okay. Get rid of that disgusting, salty little sauce flavor packet. Okay. You don't need it. We're adding our all own salt, dressing. All the MSG just giving us that crush. It's you just like want the noodle. Three hundred percent of your daily value of sodium. We're not doing that. We're not doing that. We're not. No. This is the healthy alternative, but still having that you know that flavor to it. What's the inspiration of this dish? I was just thinking about all the great produce in Florida okay. and how you can incorporate it into a salad that's not a traditional salad because that can be kind of boring okay. and also something that's good to take with you that you could pack in your lunch that you nice. could take to the beach or on a boat or to a picnic. This is one of those salads that actually the meat eaters are going to want some so you want to make a lot of it. So it makes and it matches lifestyle at that point. The convenience and putting it in and having a level of accessibility. Exactly. All so right. I'm going to throw Very some cool. carrots in here. And the, the more veggies you put, the more colorful it gets, okay. which is always nice. We eat with our eyes. We do. We eat with our eyes we first. Eyes. Absolutely. And okay. so we got rid of that flavor packet. We're going to add our own dressing. Okay. So do you want to hand me a couple lemons? I certainly can. And maybe the citrus squeezer? I certainly can do and that, And while too. I do that, maybe you would like to uh, start on some dressing over there. Okay. Like we're going to use olive oil. We're going to use honey. You know, all the things. These knives are so nice and sharp. Well, we know that we were going to have the best coming in. We've got to have love, the sharp knife forward I there. I love this place. This is so mm. nice. And I want to mm. tell you, while we're making the dressing, you can throw some salt in there. Mm -hmm. So I met you at the Epicurean Hotel yeah. a few months ago. That's right. You were hosting an event. My mm -hmm. husband and I were attending. And I came up to you after, and I said, you're really good at this. You should have your own cooking show. <laughs> you did. You did. And, and, and you know, the funny thing about it is in that time period, I was like, may, may, maybe, maybe. We were already in discussions at that point. But it was like a whole no one could know yet. So You said something really vague like, 
I'm working on that. And now I'm here in your house. Exactly. This and we're is so amazing. grateful. And this is a house for everyone house. to have fun and to enjoy. So that's what it's all about. That. That's amazing. So we're so grateful so, to have you here. I don't know how tangy this is going to be. Maybe you want to get your tasting spoon out. Mm -hmm. Give it a taste. I'm just going to put one lemon in for right now. So all we have right here is just a little bit of some honey. Okay. A little bit of some lemon. All right. A little olive oil and just a little salt. Yeah. That's we'll it. have to keep it simple. And you know what? I have a lemon tree in my backyard. My neighbor also has a lemon tree, and I pass by her house every day when I'm walking All the right, dog. So a little tree. She doesn't care if I grab a lemon. It's always citrus season at somebody's house. Okay. So you can always find a lemon in Florida. What do you think? Too sweet, too tangy. How do we feel? I'm thinking we put a little. We got with that extra lemon right okay, there. Okay, I'll go ahead and do that. Boom. I think mm -hmm. that's fantastic because All to right. get Delia's recipes for her cool and crunchy ramen salad. And have an excuse to wield Thor's tiny hammer, not the mighty hammer, the tiny hammer, without getting the cops getting called, head to dinnerdias.com. But in the corner of the screen there, my friends, that's our QR code. Just open up the camera app on your phone and point it right at it, and a link to us pops straight up. So right. this is a lot of lemon, but it smells so, it's so fresh and tangy. Inviting. That's, that's a great word for it. And you can put anything in here. You could add some craisins. Ooh, you nice. could add uh, dates. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like chopped dates. You could even add some roasted veggies. If you had like a roasted, yeah. uh, like a sweet potato. Absolutely. That would be good in there. I'm going to add some green onions. Okay. And um, these knives are amazing. I just want to like live here. <laughs> This is actually, awesome. you know, I pull out a cot from the back end. That's actually where I do live. This is this is literally. You guys are literally in the home now. You guys aren't even on on the set. You guys are in my home now. At this you know, point. this cutting board is big enough to sleep on. That's so hey, exactly. I might just I just cut a little, like a little, you know, a little one right there. So yeah. yes, exactly. And then people always ask me as a vegetarian, how do you get your protein? There are so many sources mm -hmm. of protein, but obviously nuts are a great one. So we've got some slivered almonds here. Okay. We're gonna. Let those guys come to the party, and then we've got some roasted sunflower seeds. Very cool. Very cool. How long have you been a crunch. vegetarian for? I've been a vegetarian for almost 11 years. I saw a documentary, and I went cold turkey. No pun intended. Truly, really, you went all in that moment and just went for it. Absolutely. Never ate meat again. But you know what? It's actually a great time to be a vegetarian because with social media yeah. and YouTube, there are so many resources. This show, totally. there are a million dinner ideas. 100%. And even for those that are the meat eaters like myself and many of you guys at home that are watching this, I'm willing to try it. And you folks should try it because when we come back, how to take the humble hummus from beige to beautiful, that's ahead on Dinner Diaz. Welcome back to Dinner Diaz, answering life's eternal question, what's for dinner? Answering the call today is Delia Cologne, host and producer of The Zest Podcast, and now author of the Florida Vegetarian Cookbook. Before the break, we fought and won in a battle of wills and tiny hammers with a pack of ramen noodles, which got crushed down into a beautiful ramen salad, which now goes into the fridge? It's going into the fridge, and I know people are thinking, I'm not eating some crunchy ramen noodles. I'm going to rip my mouth apart. Totally. The acidity from the lemon in the dressing will actually soften the noodles. I so love it. So we can let this hang out in the fridge while we start on the roasted beet hummus. How long would that last in the fridge for? You could keep it in the fridge for several days, or you could okay. leave it for 20 minutes. That's awesome. the beauty of it. I dig that part already because, I mean, that's how we're going to be able to zhuzh up a standard sign into something special. Because next, we've got ruby red roasted beet hummus coming. We do. Love it. Hummus, I mean, hummus is a vegetarian's best friend. Totally. Yeah, it's totally. great. I've actually had some with my lunch today. And the ruby red roasted beets give it just a beautiful color. It turns it into a showstopper. Okay. So you can put that on your table, serve it as an appetizer, surrounded by like colorful fruits and veggies or pita chips. Everyone loves it. It's got the earthiness of the hummus. I love that. Or, you know, again, as an alternative, you know, put this with a nice little turkey wrap. Use that as your spread. Use it something to complement something that maybe is just that slow introduction into more. 100% because I've been a vegetarian for over a decade, as we said. 
I already know what to eat. Yeah. I know what my options are. But people who maybe want to transition to a meatless Monday or just a little more of a plant-based diet, totally. there's nothing wrong with putting hummus on a turkey wrap. I am wearing gloves. Uh huh. I don't want to look like you I can You don't want to stain the whole, Listen, like, I, I know. When you work with beets, your kitchen looks like a crime scene. <laughs> <laughs> it does. It does. But it tastes absolutely spectacular. It I mean, does. And it's it tastes so healthy really good. For you. And I'm going to go ahead and... Um, Peel the skin off of these beets. We are going to go ahead and chop the, you're, not, you're not wearing the gloves, uh, I, so. You know, hey, I, I actually might too because I'm gonna follow suit because, you know, yeah, I might get a little, you know, a little manicure or something afterwards. I'm, oh, yeah. I wanna, I wanna, look, I wanna look good for a it there. Manny -petty. I, wanna, I don't want them to come into me and be like, what are you doing today, man? <laughs> I'll right. go with you. Deal, come on. <laughs> so you're gonna go ahead and chop those. And, and we're just doing like just a nice little rough chop here. Yeah, it doesn't really matter yeah. because they're going to be roasted, you know, 400, 425, something like that. People okay. can get the exact recipe on the website. Mm -hmm. And then you just kind of want to put a fork in them and when they start to feel a little tender, okay. that's how you know they're done. And this is great because you're cutting them small. Yeah. So they'll cook even faster. Bingo. Which is awesome. Yeah, and then we're just going to drizzle a little olive oil on there. And do you put any kind of uh, salt pepper onto it as well? I, would, I put salt for sure. Salt for sure. Yeah. Okay, and then we'll probably good. add more, you know, you got to taste the hummus. Come but on now. Definitely salt, right? Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and, and drizzle some olive oil. And obviously you would you would use more than this. But sure. But we're just making a little, just, just a little, little something something a little for something, our, something our for TV right there. friends. Gonna, uh, yeah, go ahead and do I'll that. I'm going to sprinkle are, some salt. Perfect. You do that part. But, um, yeah. So we're going to roast that in the oven. Perfect. Can I bring these over to the oven? Absolutely. Very cool. And through the magic of television. Boom. We've got some already ready. Look at that. See, I like little swap action. It's just like one go in, one come Absolutely. out. Absolutely. So Look these guys are, they're looking happy. They smell, they actually smell really sweet. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm feeling all right. Yeah. And even people who don't like beets would like this. Oh, totally. Yeah. Totally. So we're going to go ahead, throw everything in there. I love it. Okay, now who else is coming to the party? If it's if it's hummus, it's got to have tahini, yep. which is just like a fancy way of saying uh, toasted uh, sesame seeds. Mm -hmm. So tahini's going in there. It's kind of like the consistency of peanut butter. Yep. Yeah, and it really has, it kind of has no flavor. So you can do whatever you want. With you can it. just keep adding to it. There. It's like a, it's like a little black dress. You know, you can dress it up. You, you can dress you it down. You need to have it, but it's just gonna be just <laughs> like a little bit, and it just goes sure. All the way. And then okay. of course we gotta have garlic. That's a, a staple. Yeah, you wanna throw some in there? I would absolutely love to. Maybe a little more salt. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and put that. Love it. And you could do this in the blender if you don't have a food processor. Okay. Gotta have chickpeas. Boom. Which and now we already rinsed, drained these, and these are gonna go straight in. We did. Okay. And then it wouldn't be the zest without some lemon. Wait, so how about a drizzle of olive oil? Sounds like a plan. Our Floridian food odyssey continues after the break when Delia shares her method to make Mexican street corn, but minus the mess. That's ahead on Dinner Diaz. Welcome back to Dinner Diaz, and our ideas for dinner for you today are all fresh from Florida and straight from the pages of the new Florida Vegetarian Cookbook. Its author is podcaster, journalist, TV host, and actual vegetarian, Dahlia Colon. Today, we had a smashing time together making a cool and crunchy ramen salad, and before the break, we cooked up a ruby red roasted beet hummus, which looks Absolutely beautiful because during the break we brought it all together and look at that color. It looks absolutely gorgeous. And last but not least, though, we're making a Mexican street corn salad. That's right. So who doesn't love Mexican street corn? It's one of my favorites. It's a street food. Maybe you get it wrapped in foil. It's dripping with like buttery goodness and all that, but totally. it is kind of a hot mess. Other problem, you can't really share a corn on the cob with somebody. It's a little awkward. So what we're going to do is we're going to start with some fresh from Florida corn. Okay. We already went ahead and took this off the cob. And then we're just going to combine it with all the flavors that you would love of like Florida's Latin and Mexican communities. So we've got cilantro, of course. Wonderful. Jalapeno. Do you like spice? I do. I do. Okay, I'm going to get I'm, jalapeno I'm a bit, business, so. but we're just going to put some in there. That was a dad joke. That was a bad, that was a dad joke okay. right there. Okay, and then garlic, points on the scoreboard. obviously. Perfect. And some, uh, uh, red onion, and then if you wouldn't mind just making the quick dressing, mm -hmm, it's mm -hmm. gonna be a mayo-based dressing. Cool. 
You can get vegan mayo. You can keep this dish completely vegan, which means no animal product. A little secret, I don't even like mayonnaise, but in this dish, when this you combine it with the lime juice and the paprika and uh, the uh, chili powder, it somehow works. So don't Wonderful. be scared if you don't like mayo. It actually, it's gonna be this fine. This is the way so to do it. Go ahead and toss okay. this, and cool. then you can just whisk all that together. Um, and then obviously you can give it a little taste. Now in the previous salad that we made, we had honey in the dressing. Mm -hmm. People may be thinking, ooh, it's gonna be too too sour for me. Sure. But the corn is already sweet. Yeah. So once you let it sit a little bit, you could serve it immediately or let it sit for a while. And the sweetness of the corn is gonna make everything okay. I dig that because I mean, that's it's balance. Mm -hmm. You're Absolutely. finding balance in this. Yeah, so you wanna go ahead and drizzle that on here. I will do just here. that there. Oh. Yeah. Right. Now we're in business. Look at that all come together. We'll yes, just take and a little if bit. you really want to like go for the bonus points, you could add some chopped grape tomatoes in there to give it a little extra color. As my mom would say, pretty and enough little, to serve to company. And a little bit of acidity to serve with. And I mean, again, this is just one of how many recipes did you say? Uh, over a hundred recipes. Over a hundred. And book. what should we be looking for in this book? Like, walk us through a few of these recipes. I think we got some photos here. Sure. So we do have desserts, as I mentioned. That is a chocolate dipped avocado paleta. Okay. With those beautiful Florida avocados, you get the creaminess of the avocado with the tanginess of lime juice. These I actually devoured. And then this is one of my favorites. This is a buffalo cauliflower. It's got panko breadcrumb crust. You can make this for a Super Bowl party. Yeah, totally. You can make this for just like a night, you know, watching TV or movie night. And it's it's almost like a chicken wing. Absolutely. That's the consistency. My All husband, right. Braulio, absolutely loves those. And then, of course, we had to pay homage to um, Tarpon Springs with a Spanakopita, which Come is kind now. of like a Greek take on lasagna mm -hmm. and it's got the spinach. You could use uh, vegan cheese products if you preferred. Very cool. And so we've got over 120 recipes. Speaking of cheese, I put a little more cilantro on the salad and then if you really I wanna, do love that. If, you, if you really wanna just go for like the bonus points, you could do some cotija cheese on top, yep. a little sprinkle, but you can also keep it completely vegan. And you don't having... need the cheese. Okay. You don't need it, it's just a nice little. I appreciate you putting the cheese in for me today. I, I love cheese and uh, cotilla cheese is one of my favorites. And this is a dish that I'm always running to. So I'm very excited with this to come together. Okay, well I'm excited to taste it. Absolutely, because for all the recipes that Delay has been making today, head over to dinnerdias.com. Head there before everybody else does by scanning the QR code with the camera app on your phone. And while you're there, let us know if you made anything from the show because that's exactly what Tanya from Riverview did. She made the black and tan chili from chef Sean Ekman at Yinling Draft House and Kitchen. She says, I followed your recipe exactly and it was a huge success. It has a nice kick. Who doesn't love that part of it all? Because one final break before we dig in, my friends, because we're gonna taste test what we've made today and give you our verdict ahead on Dinner Diaz. Welcome back to Dinner Diaz. Today, we've been keeping it local with recipes from the Florida Vegetarian Cookbook. It's by my guest, Leah Cologne, who's been sharing three of the 100 plus recipes in the book. We've made a cool and crunchy ramen salad, a ruby red roasted beet hummus, and a Mexican street corn salad. Now I gotta ask you, parent to parent here on this one here, you know, were they the taste testers in this or are these menu recipe are these recipes going to always be at the family menu every night? Because is everyone in the family a vegetarian? We are not all vegetarian. My husband Braulio was a very good sport. He was the guinea pig, and you don't want to know what didn't make the cookbook. He, <laughs> there were some nights when we had scrambled eggs, which is you know vegetarian but not vegan, or sure. cereal for dinner. Mm -hmm. um, but we do eat largely vegetarian at home, and okay. then he travels quite a bit for work, so he always has an opportunity to get his Reuben sandwich or nice. his steak. The kids eat mostly vegetarian too, but Very I do cool. keep a bag of chicken nuggets in the freezer. I'm hey, not gonna lie. Sometimes in a pinch, you gotta work with what you got. Seven and eleven. So I mean, come on now, you gotta work with what the audience is sometimes. So, where should I start? I think I'm gonna go for the ramen salad because it's been in the fridge mm -hmm. for a little bit, and, okay. and hopefully the noodles have softened a little bit. Sometimes you have to adjust the amount of dressing. Sure. To make sure you know everything's getting a nice little. Um, bit of help from the 
the zestiness and what should of I be tasting lemon. for in this one here? Um, you're gonna taste the uh, brightness of the lemon. Mm -hmm. You're gonna taste, hopefully, just the freshness of all the veggies. That's the main thing. They're really the star, and then the sweetness of the honey. Mm -hmm. Still a little crunchy. <laughs> I like that though, because yeah. for me, that represents fresh. That represents everything that this is. And I feel like it's a clean bite, which is very inviting because now I'm going on this whole little, you know, smorgasbord tour of different bites. And I've been staring at this hummus because okay, this is stunning. All right, you going carrot, you going cracker. I'm going to go carrot and then probably cracker. Okay. You know, I, you can add whatever veggies you want mm -hmm. to accompany this. You could do some cut up broccoli, mm -hmm. some beautiful uh, yellow bell peppers, and just really make it a showstopper. Mm -hmm. so this is kind of like a snacky dinner. People are into charcuterie. This would be a great star of a charcuterie board. Absolutely, because you can just graze. Mm -hmm. You don't feel as though that it's going to be something that's overbearing and heavy. You just kind of lightly go into every little bite, which is so much fun because, you know, for me, a Mexican corn salad like this, this for me is fun. Let's see if it lives up to it. I hope so. And I do want to say, people may be wondering, when are you going to cook the corn? We're not going to cook the corn. The uh, lemon or lime juice, whatever you're using, cooks the corn for you as well as the salt. So you really don't need to do anything to it. Absolutely, because you let the ingredients shine. It comes through so nicely. There is that beautiful balance of what you want to be tasting. Cilantro is one of my favorite bites too, in the entire world. Bring it for that one. Bring it for all these dishes because they're absolutely a showstopper. Thanks again to Delia Colon. A link to her Florida food podcast, The Zest, and to order her new book are at our website, dinnerdias.com, along with all of her recipes from today's show. Just scan the QR code to get there. I'm Jeff Philbin. Thanks for watching, and see you next time with more Dinner Diaz. Thanks for watching Dinner Diaz. And remember, anytime you're hungry for a great dinner idea, just go to dinnerdiaz.com. That's dinner, D-E-E-A-S dot com.